We're in a green side bunker. We've got a flag that's fairly close. I'd say about 15 yards. What do the best players in the world do in this situation? So I'm going to say that the most important thing that they do is they control the entry point into the sand. But they do that by making sure they go through a really uh, strong setup routine. And so for, for a bunker, you're going to want the leading edge open, so you add loft to the club. And then wide stance, pretty much square to your target line here, right? Because we get the open leading edge, but we're going to have our hands lower with this shot. And that'll bring the face back pointing to the target. So you're talking square with your pelvis, square with your shoulders. Yes. And then exactly. lower handle, so that open face squares up. Yep, exactly right, true. And then the, the next part is that you want to be really stable in here. We can't afford to have any swaying. It's a really centered pivot, not much movement of the head or anything like that. And then wrist conditions on this shot are different to most other shots that you'll hit because instead of turning your knuckles down which you would do on a, a driving pitch shot or a, an iron shot you're actually going to work your lead wrist into extension so that the bounce or the back of the club yeah. is what contacts the sand and you've got to remember it's the sand that's pushing the ball out of the bunker not the club face itself so you're not making direct contact with the ball on the club face and so from that setup here wide probably leaning a little bit left so that you've got more weight left than on your uh, right leg hair trail and you could do that just by flexing the knee a little more yep, right exactly so you're probably going to get down a little bit lower then you need a big turn so you can generate the speed with your body so this little shot that it might actually end up being an, an eight or ten yard carry needs the same speed that you would generate for a 30 or 40 yard shot where you hit it right on the club face and that's because you're getting through sand and the sand slows the club way down yep and we've got a lot of loft on the club as well that's going to pitch it up in the air so doc let's talk about how we want that club to enter the sand lots of different things i've heard swirling around what are the best players in the world doing on that yeah, it's surprising actually. They'll want the club to first land on the sand about three and a half to four inches behind the ball. And particularly on this soft, dry sand here. And, and um, they'll need quite a bit of speed because it is, you're going to catch quite a bit of sand here. It's not going to bounce on the sand. So that's a lot farther back than what most people would think. One to two inches? Yeah, I think that while the players might have thought that that's what they did and when they reported in their in their instructional books or what coaches have have said when we measured it using high-speed photography you can clearly see that the entry point on good bunker shots is about three and a half to four inches behind the back of the ball so is the club tell me about angle of attack whether it's shallow steep or somewhere in between it's, it's interesting because if you said attack angle was when the club hits the ball then there is no attack angle because the club doesn't hit the ball it enters the sand with a fairly steep attack angle and then the sand pushes the ball up in the air doc the sand is dry and it's quite a bit of it, kind of fluffy. How would you handle this sand versus, say, packed sand after it rains? Right, so we probably wouldn't want to open the leading edge up as much because that'll expose more of the bounce and the, and the club will then tend to bounce into the ball rather than sliding underneath it. On the hard stuff. On the hard, hard packed. Uh, and you might want to bring the contact point or the entry point into the sand a little bit closer to the ball but you have to decrease the speed then as well, or otherwise you'll hit it just way too far. Mm, got it. Should we hit it? Yeah, let's try.